coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. 2021 was the safest skydiving year in history. Nebraska sold to flight safety, and Taliban MD-530 crashed during training. Hi, I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. Let's get into today's stories. 2021 was the safest skydiving year in history. The United States Parachute Association announced that their overall safety rate that has been improving year over year has again beat the previous year with 10 civilian skydiving deaths throughout 2021. The downswing began in 2018 when deaths dropped to 13, bringing the fatality index to 0.39 out of every 100,000 jumps. The year after saw a rise to 15 until 2020's drop in overall skydiving activity brought the index to mirror its 2018 record. 2020 saw 11 fatalities, an all-time low for the era. Now 2021's record proves that safety efforts, training programs, and diver proficiency programs are yielding dividends across the country. The association has made it a goal for 2022, hoping they can bring overall fatalities into the single-digit range. Quote, Although every life lost is tragic, leaving behind friends and family mourning, there is comfort in knowing that each year skydiving is getting significantly safer. This smaller fatality count is a testament to all the hard work drop zone operators, safety and training advisors, instructors, the skydiving industry, and jumpers themselves are performing daily. With a bit of luck and continued vigilance, maybe we can see our first single digit year next year, end quote, they said while commemorating the record. After the break, Planes of Fame Museum rescued. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Plains of Fame Museum Rescued The California location of the Plains of Fame Air Museum was narrowly rescued on January 5th when the combined efforts of local Chino Valley Fire District firefighters and an effective sprinkler system extinguished a fire within a nearby hangar at Chino Airport. The blaze was stopped before any direct damage could be done, said museum director Jerry Wilkins. The fire was reported around 5.30 in the evening, adjacent to two of the museum's parked aircraft. Wilkins said some contents of the hangar were burned, but a full assessment remains to be completed. CEO of Magnets steps down. Rowie Gonzarski posted a notice to his LinkedIn account that after four years with the electric aircraft company, he would be ending his tenure. Magnet saw a number of milestones under his tutelage that he named in his farewell address. Quote, I am so proud of what we are able to achieve during the last four years at Magnix, including, to name a few, the world's first all-electric commercially focused flights, end quote, with the company's electrically propelled Cessna e-caravan and its later flight test that saw the tester reach 8,000 feet. Wings Over Whiteman 2022 Air Show Cancelled Whiteman Air Force Base canceled their Wings Over Whiteman Air and Space Show, which was expected to be scheduled for June 2022. Air Force Brass said the decision was made to allow their personnel to focus on their mission priorities. Putting on an air show is an unnecessary distraction from their duties, said a statement from the 509th Bomb Wing Public Affairs Office. The wing said, quote, For now, Whiteman Air Force Base will focus our resources on executing nuclear operations and global strike anytime, anywhere, end quote. Virgin Galactic Stock Slumps 
Space tourism company Virgin Galactic has seen better days in its never-ending roller coaster ride on Wall Street. Its stock price dipped briefly below its $11.75 start price from October 2019, seeing $11.33 for a brief time before rebounding to hover around $12 throughout the early afternoon. It was once a rousing deal for believers, some of whom recall the high of $62.80 a share in the February 2021 frenzy. Virgin Galactic has had a string of bad news for investors, pushing back commercial space service time and again. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Frasca sold to Flight Safety. Frasca International has been sold to Flight Safety International, marking the end of six decades as a family-owned company based out of the appropriately named Frasca Field in Urbana, Illinois. Frasca President John Frasca and other employees will reportedly remain in place and the family will continue to retain ownership of the airport and its grounds. Flight Safety has built up its brand as an internationally recognized training provider for a number of aircraft types, and the addition of the Frasca brand builds on years of relationship between the two companies that draw all the way back to their founders. Flight Safety has yet to announce any changes to their new acquisition, with communications director Stacy Perkins saying the company's expertise in Level D simulators is a great fit for all involved. Quote, Frasca's strength in training development and ab initio flight training makes this partnership beneficial for both entities, end quote, she said in a statement from the company. Quote, nothing will drastically change, end quote, Perkins continued, allaying fears of immediate shakeups. Quote, John Frasca will remain as president and operations will continue as they do today with close collaboration with Flight Safety's simulation team, end quote. After these messages, Taliban MD-530 crashed during training. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. Taliban MD-530 crashed during training. The Taliban confirmed a video making the rounds earlier this week that featured one of their inherited MD-530 helicopters coming in low for a landing, only to abruptly lift and veer off horizontally before impacting the ground. Like many goings-on in the post-U.S. withdrawal Afghanistan, details are few and far between, with rumors abounding unopposed until half-hearted explanations are officially sown. Taliban spokesman for the Ministry of Defense in Ayatollah Khwarazmi blamed technical issues with the aircraft, saying the two injured pilots are expected to recover. He said, quote, the helicopter crashed and is destroyed. Our pilots are injured, but we don't have fatalities. One of the pilots is in stable condition. Another pilot is in critical condition, end quote. The equipment left to the Afghanistan National Army varied last year, with much of it falling into Taliban hands with little bloodshed as forces were absorbed into the advancing army. Technical skills are few and far between, as the new owners found. Very little of the upkeep for ANA aircraft was completed by local technicians, the majority of maintenance being completed by outside contractors that disappeared with the American retreat. Well, that's our program for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.